In recreational diving, dive computers are mainly used to keep a diver informed of their no decompression limit so that they can ideally stay well within it. But how does your dive computer know how long you can safely dive at any given depth? Most dive computers measure two parameters, time and ambient pressure, from which they can derive depth. Your no decompression limit at any given time and depth is calculated through the interpretation of these two variables based on an algorithm also known as decompression model. The first decompression model was developed by John Scott Haldane at the beginning of the 20th century to limit the occurrence of decompression sickness among Royal Navy divers. Most contemporary dive computers still work on neo-Haldanian models, based on the methodology established by Haldane. Any body tissue at any given depth will eventually absorb enough nitrogen to be at equilibrium with the surrounding environment. This is called saturation. The process of absorbing nitrogen is called nitrogen loading. All neo haldanian models work around the idea of compartments. To put it simply, compartments are theoretical constructs created to account for the fact that different body tissues take up nitrogen at different rates and have different nitrogen loading capacities. All compartments in a model, therefore, have different rates of nitrogen uptake and can tolerate a different load of nitrogen before requiring decompression. The rate of nitrogen uptake of each compartment is defined by its half-time in minutes. The maximum amount of nitrogen each compartment can tolerate without the need for decompression is defined by its M value, also known as allowable nitrogen loading, and it's measured in meters or feet. At a depth of 30 meters in seawater, a compartment with a half-time of 5 minutes will take 5 minutes to reach a nitrogen loading equal to 15 meters of seawater, halfway to saturation. It will then take 5 more minutes to get to a loading of 22.5 meters of seawater, 5 more to get to 26.25, and so on. The US Navy model employs 6 compartments with half-times of 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, and 120 minutes. Compartments with shorter half-times take up nitrogen faster, but also have a higher M value, which means that they can tolerate a higher nitrogen load. The 5 minutes compartment in this case has an M value equivalent to 27 meters of seawater, and the 120 minutes compartment has an M value equivalent to 6 meters of seawater. In recreational diving, which does not involve decompression stops, our dive profile will have to be one that doesn't let any of the compartments in the decompression model exceed its M value, or allowable nitrogen loading. This is what your dive computer calculates for you in real time during your dive. Exceeding your dive computer's no decompression limit means exceeding the allowable nitrogen loading of one of the compartments in your computer's decompression model. 